Alright, what's up? It's Millennial Plastic Stacker here. Basically, I just got my John Wick coins in the mail. They were due for pre-sale a uh, while ago, and they were due to ship on the 14th, and today is the 18th, and I got them on the 17th, which was yesterday. Also, today is my birthday. So happy birthday to me. Alright, we're about to open this up. At Mex, John Wynn. Continental Silver Coin. It's a replica. It's actually a round. At Mex and uh, Lionsgate actually work together for this. Or work together on this. So I'm really excited. I feel like I waited like a month for this. Oh, here they are. You know, in the movie, actually, they didn't have uh, silver. All they had was gold. Okay, so if you didn't watch the John Wick in the first movie, um, what happened was he had retired from being an assassin. He had married his wife. She died. Um, she left him a puppy. Some thugs broke into his house, killed his dog, and stole his 19, I believe, 69 Ford Mustang. His anger dummy is basically the most scariest assassin you could think of, being played by the actor Keanu Reeves. There's been three movies. The first movie was when his uh, dog got killed and his car was stolen. He then went and got the person who did it, the criminals, and he went ahead and killed the criminal, and he, I believe he, yep, he had to kill the criminal's father. Um, in the second movie, he, uh, was living a normal life. He had to come out of retirement. His, uh, retirement was cut short by, what's his name? San, San, Santio Antonio. And Santi, Santio Antonio had this uh, marker that was given to him by John Wick. And a marker is an oath or a contract. So if somebody gives you a marker, you have to uh, basically keep that promise and do, do something for that person. And John Wick owed Antonio a favor. Antonio was basically heir to the throne of some higher table or some shit in the movie. And his sister was next in line. And Antonio basically wanted John Wick to kill his sister because he said he wasn't man enough to do it himself. He loved her. He said he still loved his sister, which is just ironic. And uh, then we go to the... Uh, well, actually, okay, still in that movie, he went... He decided not to, which then caused his house to get burned down by Antonio. And John Wick went to the head of the Continental, which was, his name is Winston, I believe. And he told him, you know, you can't break the rules. There's only two rules. The rules are, you cannot kill on Continental ground. And you must always honor a mark. A mark is a contract, like I said. Also in the movie, these coins, the only way you were able to do anything in that movie was with these coins. I don't have my gloves on, but I'm gonna take it out of this and show it to you. This thing looks super nice. I don't even wanna touch it, but it's like, wow. That is sick. Ah, uh, I can't really get a good picture of it. Maybe that's right there. We got a lady right there, she's got some leaves in one hand. And she's got a, a, a sword in her other hand. And uh, there's a shield behind that sword. And on the top it says, Ex Unite Veres. And on the bottom it says, one ounce, point nine nine fine silver. Ex unite virus, uh, it means 
Let me see, what does that mean? Uh, let's see. It means something about unity. Oh yeah, unity. Let's see. Unity is strength, that's what it was. Unity is strength. And uh, on the back, we got a lion. And there's the sun gleaming behind it. And on the top of this coin, it says, ends casa suit, which means to cause itself. And on the bottom, Roman numeral MMI, which means 2001. So yeah, there it is. That's one ounce of silver. I actually got two of them. So here's my other one. John Wick, one ounce silver continental. So in this movie, he used this basically. To, uh, he needed this for a bulletproof suit. He needed these coins for, let's see. He had killed a bunch of people and he needed somebody to move the dead bodies. So he used the coins to do that. In the movie, they only used gold coins, but what I can't afford is the silver right now. So I went ahead and got the silver. Plus, I've seen all three of the movies. And in the third movie, I don't really want to get out of one away because it's still in uh, theaters, but if you haven't seen it, probably don't hear this part, but basically because he had broke the rules and killed somebody on continental ground, this lady came who called herself the adjudicator. Adjudicator means judge. And she said basically his uh, privileges were revoked and that there would be a $14 million bounty on his head for anybody that brought back his blood. So a bunch of people were out after him. Wow. These are my first rounds, actually. My first two rounds. Usually all I like is a uh, government. I like government minute coins, but... I'm not gonna lie, I've actually recently wanted a bag of uh, junk silver, they call it, or constitutional silver. All right, and let's see. What else about this bad boy, man? It's just a nice coin, man. I wouldn't get too many of them. You could get a special tube if you buy uh, 20, and it comes with this John Wick branded tube. Also, uh, I sold my Tesla yesterday and I actually made a profit this time. So that's good. I had bought a $340 contract, sold it for $2,000 in less than two weeks. Um, bought it at about 185, sold it at about 225. Previously before that, I had bought a contract of Tesla at like 235 and it dropped. And right now that contract's only worth I had spent like $300 on that contract and it's only worth about like eight bucks. Earlier today it was worth like 50 or 60, but I'm just holding on to that. And I have a Google contract that I'm holding on to, but that Tesla contract that, that I bought really low paid off. I made 700% on that and that's not my first time making 700%, but my goal is to take, instead of 300, take like 2000 or something big and turn that into like 14,000 or 20,000. It's crazy what options can do. And I'm gonna take that money and buy more silver. Here's actually the charts. I had bought Tesla right there. It had dropped on me, I lost all that basically. And then I thought, you know what? It's not really averaging down if I believe that is the actual bottom and momentum was starting to turn around. And being that I'm a contrarian investor, I thought I'd go long. Okay, so I buy there, it shakes me out, or it doesn't shake me out, it, sh it drops one more day, which I would call a shake out, and from there it went up. To, so you can see that in actually this chart. So I bought literally at the bottom, my second Tesla contract I bought at the bottom, my first Tesla contract I bought here. I spent $300 here, and I spent another $300 down here. The $300 that I spent down here, oops, excuse me, the $300 that I spent, I spent $300 here and I spent $300 down here. The $300 I spent down here made back all of this gain. From here all the way up to here, I was able to turn $300 into $2,000. That's just with one Tesla contract. 
stuff's crazy. Down here, basically, I uh, had bought some Google. I was talking about how I had bought some Google and uh, some Tesla. And I was basically almost out of $1,000, but I was able to turn it around. Yeah, right now I'm thinking about another play. The market has been doing great. It's been up for like the past week or two, something like that. And uh, oil's up today. I wonder how gold and silver is actually doing. Let's see. Yep, gold and silver actually closed up today, which is odd because the market closed up strong. You know, usually you don't have gold and silver closing up strong, they say. So, that's it for my uh, Atmex unboxing. These two silver rounds right here, new to the collection. I actually got a five ounce coin coming this week, so I'm gonna post a video on that. And uh, that's actually my favorite coin that I, so far, and I don't even have it, and I know it's my favorite because of the history behind it and the, the uh, stuff that's what's said on it and the, uh, the artistic uh, value and all of that. But, um, you know, keep stacking. It's Millennial Plastic Stacker, I'm out.